Welcome to Warhammer War Scroll Review. In this video, we will be going over the Clan Pestilence War Scroll Plague Monks. War Scroll Review. Like most infantry models, Plague Monks seem underwhelming at first, but let's explore the synergies that make them more valuable. No save, 5 bravery, and 1 wound. Not good at all, but at least they have a 6 inch move. They have two options for weapons, either they can carry two fitted blades, or one woe staff and a fitted blade. The fitted blade does a little bit more damage as it can reroll to hit, but if you're stacking attack bonuses, the woe staff gives you an extra weapon and combined three attacks. Each of the Plague Monk's command models have two options. Each of the champions have a one use only item. The Plague Scroll lets them reroll ones to wound, and the Book of Woes deals mortal wounds to units around the model on a four up. Now, since Games Workshop has ruled in the fact that it's okay to take either Standard Bearer or Musician, let's just take them all. One of the standards is the Icon of Pestilence, which deals a mortal wound on a 6 when one of your models dies. On a unit of 40 models, this is a pretty good chance this will happen a few times. The other standard is the Contagion Banner, which means on a 6 to wound, you roll another dice. On a 6 on that dice, you deal a mortal wound. The two types of musicians are the Doom Gong and the Bale Chime. On the Doom Gong, subtract 1 from nearby units run and charge rolls. With the Bale Chime, on a 6 to wound, Plague Monks have Ren 1. Now when ruling the Frenzied Assault special rule, the additional attack only happens when you have two fetid blades. But I've seen people online say that it works with the Woe Stabs. What do you all think about this? How do you rule it? It seems to specifically say fetid blades. Plague Monks start at 10 models and go up to 40 models, ranging from 70 points to 280 points. Now their only battle line within the Clan Pestilence faction but this means you're spending only 210 points minimum on battle line, which makes them an excellent shaft unit or even a tar pit. The really large units of monks can really do some damage. A lot of times you're going to see them moving around plague furnaces. Now as they are part of the Chaos Grand Alliance, unpredictable destruction, or even better, great destroyers can give them an extra attack. Plague monks really love the extra attacks. But you can also consider giving a nearby hero Lord of War to give the plague monks plus one to hit. Clan Pestilence really shines with their battalions, so if you include a few, you might think about using the Crown of Conquest to make up for their low bravery. Lord Skrulk is a great model, and his command ability can be used on Plague Monks to make opponents subtract one to hit when targeting them. You've probably seen this with Plague Bearers, and it is very helpful. Now I personally feel the Vermin Lord Corruptor has a bit better synergies with the Plague Monks. His command ability would give them plus one attack on each of their weapons, which seems to work a little bit better with the Woe Stab, which will give a unit of 40 Plague Monks 200 attacks. You might use the Congregation of Filth or even the Virulent Procession to give them reroll charges and a ward save with units you'd probably already be using. Most large units of Plague Monks are going to be standing around a Plague Furnace, which can be used to give them reroll wounds or an extra attack as they die. Either way, they get plus one bravery. The Pestilent Claw Pack seems to be the best way to increase Plague Monk's damage output, with a Plague Furnace, Priest, and three units of Monks, which are units you probably already are taking, it lets the Plague Monks deal double damage on a 6 to wound. Combined with the Bale Chimes, this would make a 6 to wound, minus 1 rend, and 2 damage. The Pestilent Claw Pack also allows you to pick a piece of terrain, making Plague Monks immune to battle shock when in or on it. Plague Priests are one of the best synergies that Clan Pestilence has to offer. Their prayer can be used on enemy units and allows you to add plus one to wound when attacking that unit. Although I bet the rule of one will be updated with the General's Handbook 2 and make this unusable, but for now, this ability stacks. Some Plague Priests also have Plague Sensors, which is a once per game item which can be used on an enemy unit to allow your Plague Monks to reroll wounds against it. So it seems the highest damage output, coming from 40 Plague Monks, is in the Clan Pestilent Claw Pack with a Vermin Lord Corruptor, Plague Furnace, and some support from Plague Priests. 200 attacks, reroll to wound, and on a 5 up, or even better depending on how many Plague Priests you have, they do 2 damage, minus 1 rend, and can do an immortal wound by rolling an additional 6. Now you've probably noticed that I've only been talking about Clan Pestilence models, and that's because Plague Monks really don't work competitively unless they're battle line so they're not very universal when it comes to the Chaos Grand Alliance. Plague Monk's main target will be low save units, but remember, all their attacks won't make up for a good, solid, rerollable save. And from the opponent's perspective, definitely avoid getting bogged down by a giant mob of monks. But on the bright side, they have no save, so just throw a whole bunch of attacks at them. Plague Monk scored a solid 3 out of 5, 
mostly because they only work in the Clan Pestilence faction. Otherwise, they are an extremely cost-efficient battle line choice. What do you all think of the Plague Monks? Does anyone use them outside of Clan Pestilence? Leave your answers in the comments. Also to leave in the comments are suggestions on war scrolls you'd like to see reviewed. Thanks for watching.